So I'm joined today by Davide, who's a polymer physicist at the University of Warwick. Davide, why have you got a bowl of pasta in front of you? Well, I'm staring at this bowl of pasta because it reminds me of what I'm studying at university. In particular, this uh, strand of, of spaghetti reminds me of a linear polymer, uh, which is a long molecule which has two ends. So as you can see, this, uh, this is not closed, but it's, uh, it's linear, it's got two ends. And because of this, if you put a lot of spaghetti in a bowl, you can always pull one free because it has two ends, right? So in principle, you could eat this bowl of spaghetti by sucking it up one and one at a time, although it will take you quite a, quite a long time, but not very long time. So these spaghetti are an analogy, a microscopic analogy to linear polymers? They are a microscopic analogy for linear polymers. But over here, you've got some, you made some ring shape oh, oh, yes. pasta, haven't you? We made uh, this uh, novel, novel uh, shape of pasta we call anelloni. We made it by folding back a flat sheet of, of pasta dough and by sealing the edges in a cylindrical shape. And then you cut stripes of, out of that. And uh, what you get is a, is a ring shaped pasta. This is actually no longer an analogy for linear polymers, but it is an analogy for ring polymers. Ring polymers are actually uh, quite abundant in nature. Actually, the DNA of bacteria is, uh, is a loop exactly like this one, although much longer. So by studying this ring-shaped pasta, you can get insights into ring-shaped polymers. Exactly, and not only from the biological perspective, but also uh, from the perspective of creating, creating new materials, for instance. And over here you've got a gigantic bowl of these ring-shaped pasta. Ring-shaped uh, pasta, exactly. So this is uh, an analogy of what uh, polymer physicists call a melt, which is a dense, a very dense solution of, uh, of, of polymers, in this case, ring polymers. So, so what happens when you pull them on? If I was to try to pull one free, I realize that I can't unless I pull other rings with it. And, uh, and this property is, is peculiar of the fact that these polymers are actually closed, are, are rings. So this type of interaction, which we call threading, is, uh, causes, we found that it causes the system to slow down a lot and it becomes uh, almost like a glass, which means that it, is, it takes exponentially long time uh, to move. And this is why if you were to try to eat uh, this, uh, this bowl of, of pasta, it will take you a long time to eat uh, one, uh, one, one strand at a time. So I'm not going to ask you to eat all that, Davide, but um, you've written about uh, these materials in the December issue of Physics World. You've also got a recipe yes. for how to make this. Yes, absolutely. You should uh, have a look at it and uh, try it at home. Thank you. Thank you.